people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, people, the other day I got a voice note and I got some pictures from a family member, a close family member of a lady whose name is Trudy. And she is saying that she is getting some T H R E A T S from a boyfriend. And his name is Jermaine Baker and he lives at 22 Franklin Avenue we are talking about in a Franklin town. Now people she is asking me, the family member is asking me to send this out to the relevant authorities we are speaking about the Popo and people the truth and the fact that I don't know why she did not contact the Popo herself. However, based on some information that I got, I basically take it serious. So therefore, this is going out to the popo. If there's anything wrong with this lady and her name is Trudy, if there's anything that happened to her, basically the first person we are speaking about, the person of interest, he is supposed to be Jermaine Baker and him live at 22 Franklin Avenue. May I talk about Franklin Town? So people, take a listen, take a look at the audio, and then I'll give my peace. Let me just enlighten you about something. I enlighten you, bumbo, idiot, clad, about something. But all, at the 13th, it was a 13th, 2012, on a Friday, I ended up a jail, the worst thing happened to me. Me and that day, I a friend. See, they only make it even worse. Me say, you don't know the urge when you know me, you know my God, you put a piece of that. A piece of aggression in me, you see, I said, probably if you in front of me, man, I run something through your bridge in me, I tell you, the God Almighty truth. I tell you, I'm going to give a f who you want to send my message them, go give who you want to send this or send that to you. And you are f up my dear. You are the one who cast anything to reach you, reach you. And you, can you not have no bad sense. Me I try to have a good day for me. For me, even last night, I'm going to lie, I said, I'm going to bother you. I call them for my sister, your phone lock up. I just say, no, I'm waiting for a man. I must go along by a man. I have a good day. I get up early, do what I have to do. I can't even complete for tidy up my place, wash my clothes. Then. I do my ear, I can't do my finger expression because of all the vibes of my inner. Eh? Because the vibes of my inner. But wait till later, man. I say, if you not get it to them, man, God, come out of the black sky. Because I'm not calm, I calm down just the way you do me. You want to to me. Remember, I tell you, girl, you look red. So people, you remember to say now, Trudy, don't take this man lightly, don't basically sleep on it. And you, Mr. Jermaine Baker, remember how you put out this voice note. Remember, this is your voice. Remember, you are the person that is talking all sort of thing and basically implicate yourself in a premeditated deed so therefore if anything happened to Trudy you know which part you are going to end up because this is going to be an open and closed case we don't have to ask no question not we the purple them don't have to ask any sort of question and based on what we see going on in Jamaica based on the fact that we see so many persons we are talking about specifically women getting slapped away on a daily basis People, this is just a next person that is basically getting in his feelings, that is getting all emotional. And when I speak about emotional, I not talk about the love type, I talk about the rage type, I talk about the H A T E type. So, people, the point that I am trying to make is that whenever you hear persons say what they are going to do, usually believe them because it usually ends up in the worst case scenario. And people, like me say, don't take it lightly. Based on what we see, based on the disturbing trend that we see going on in Jamaica, as it pertains to these men and their spouse, their wife, their matey, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I said, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. One word. Don't put no space between the words. And people, please subscribe to this channel and also click the notification bell. And when you click the notification bell, also press all in the option. So therefore, whenever I upload any video, you'll be the first to get it. So the next thing that is popping in the news, and this is a story that I was supposed to do maybe a couple of days ago. 
we saw that seven fish and when i speak about seven fish i am not speaking about nemo they basically jack up a man and take with him cell phone and when me talk about jack up me not talk about the fishy type of jack up me i talk about with some peace me i talk about at gun point now based on the information coming from the popo it is said that seven men dress we are talking about like crisscross we are talking about some crisscross dressing we are talking about some tranny and when we talk about tranny me not talk about transmission i am speaking about the type me i talk about the gully fish them me i talk about in a new kingston and people ironically this incident occurred in new kingston and based on the purple it is said that now in the custody of purple we are talking about a 30 year old man and his name is chad walters and he is from washington drive we are talking about kingston 10 and the next person we are speaking about a 22 year old man and his name is danny anderson and he is from wellington street we are talking about in a kingston 14. now based on the purple report it is said that these two men and also five others that are w-a-n-t-e-d by the purple they were charged with r-o-b-b-e-r-y with aggravation and this is said to be coming from an incident that occurred we are speaking about on march 3rd 2020 in which these two fish and five other tranny fish these guys in a some dress basically acting like some women r o b b e d the victim we are speaking about on saint lucia avenue we are talking about in a new kingston and them take with him cell phone they took away his bank debit card and then basically went to the atm machine and start to do some withdrawal we are speaking about the illegal type so people we are talking about some fish that is cross angry and miserable we are talking about like bounty now people me talk about the fish them in a jamaica i am not speaking about the preppy ones from san francisco or new york city may i talk about the gully type may i talk about the invasive species i am speaking about the type that seems to not respect the rules laws and regulation of jamaica may i talk about the teeth in type them may i talk about the gully breed of fish may i talk about the ticky ticky type them where it seems as if they were basically on a rampage and if you know anything about the history of these new kingston fish and i am not saying that you are watching a fishy type of person me just i said they are the type of person with a reputation for always i take people things in a new kingston before the purple basically evict them from under the gully and send them other places in a jamaica and they were also removed from some uptown place so people we are talking about some trouble fish we are talking about trouble daddy now people don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued and think that I am picking on these persons because of their lifestyle. Because if you watch the history of this channel, whenever anybody do anything wrong, I am going to always speak. Whether they are straight or whether they are lean. So people, the moral of the story is this. These persons already have a strike against them in Jamaica and I am not saying that it is justified. However, when they do stuff like this, when they basically G-A-N-G up on one person and take away them cell phone and take away their bank card and then go and withdraw some money from the people them account, people we are talking about wrong point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up so the next thing that is popping in the news is that a taxi operator i am speaking about a person whose name is barrington white and he was charged for the slap away of his wife we are speaking about a district constable and their name is melissa edwards white and he pled guilty in the home circuit court on tuesday and people he will be sentenced on april 16 2020 now according to the Popo report, it is said that the wife was assigned to the office of the Commissioner of Popo and she was slapped away at their house. We are speaking about a place called Farmbrook Avenue. We are speaking about in St. Andrew. We are speaking about on September 29, 2018. So people, we are speaking about in excess of about two years ago or a little less than two years ago. And it was said that the man basically used a bill and basically juke up the lady and basically limb limb her up. 
Some people were speaking about some mad, sick, deranged, mentally disturbing in Jamaica that is a part of the new trend that is taking over the place by storm. We are talking about the people and we are slapping them girlfriend, them wife, them matey, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling, and their other relatives. Some people, it is said that Mr. White was arrested by the Popo due to forensic evidence that basically linked him to the slap away of his wife. Some people were speaking about it seems as if justice is going to be served because he has already pled guilty to this charge and he is going to be sentenced in April of 2020. So people, that is a good look. And people, when we listen to a case like this, we saw that this is a lady that worked with the commissioner of Popo. So we would have thought that she would have known better. We would have thought that she would not have been involved in any sort of domestic D-I-S-P-E-O-T-E. -E. But people, we see that a lot of persons are choosing to remain silent even after they are A-B-U-S-E-D. And people, it always comes back to haunt them. It always ends up in the worst case scenario. And people, we see once again in this case, case that is the case point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up